Wassalamu alaikum wa alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hilal TV, alhamdulillah. Today we are coming live, alhamdulillah, from Lotus Garden, which is in Pretoria area, alhamdulillah. As I always say, that my program, I always start with the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because when you start with the name of Allah, inshallah, it has a lot of khair and barakah. Whatever is not started with the name of Allah is void of khair and barakah. Alhamdulillah, we will now first start with the Quran, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والسماء والطارق وما أدراك ما الطارق النجم الثاقب إن كل نفس لما عليها حافظ فلينظر الإنسان مما خلق خلق مما إن دافق يخرج من بين الصلب والترائب إنه على رجعه لقادر يوم تبل السرائر فما له من قوة ولا ناصر والسماء ذات الرجع والأرض ذات الصدع إنه لقول فصل وما هو بالهزل إنهم يكيدون كيدا وأكيد كيدا فمهل الكافرين أمهلهم رويدا صدق الله العظيم نعم الحمد لله الشيخ رسائتين a surah which is my most favorite surah. I don't know, maybe he knew that I love this surah. That's why he read it for me, inshallah. Uh, I think uh, what we're going to do, we're going to interview Abu Bakr. You can just say, uh, change seats. Assalamu alaikum. One more time. We are live, alhamdulillah, from Lotus Garden in Pretoria. Now I'll, I'll, I'll be speaking to Abu Bakr. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Bakr. And what is your portfolio here? Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Speaking to Abu Bakr, and I am the youth Amir of this location in Lotus Gardens. Naam. Alhamdulillah. Say Abu Bakr, uh, how many uh, Muslims in this community? In this community, Mulana is roughly, could be more than 200 households, household uh, Muslim houses, like, and... Uh, more than that individually because some of the Muslims are not from Muslim households. No, alhamdulillah. Uh, when did you revert to Islam? Because nobody converts to Islam. Everybody reverts to Islam. When did you revert? It was in 2009. Mashallah, alhamdulillah. Uh, for how long have you been the Amir of the youth? Ever since I've reverted, I've been a mirror of the youth of this location. No, alhamdulillah. What difficulties do you face in this area? In this area, uh, Mulana, the difficulties we face is that people don't necessarily understand Islam and they think maybe Islam is a religion for Indians or Somalians or certain type of people. But Islam is not necessarily about that. Islam is a worldwide religion. It's a religion for everybody as it encompasses everything that it has to do with humanity as a whole. Because Islam will teach you how to live with one another, Muslim or not. Islam doesn't only teach me to be good to Muslims, but also to non-Muslims, even to my parents, even to nature, even to the, to the tree. I must be good to it because it's the creation of Allah. Now, alhamdulillah, Shia. Uh, now, Alhamdulillah, what difficulties do you face in this community? Again, in, in this community, Mola, Molana, is the difficulties we face is that people who don't necessarily understand Islam, they tend to, to take it lightly or they, they, they tend to, to be against us as Muslims. And sometimes they make it difficult for us 
to practice Islam. But as time goes by, many people tend to understand and they become more open-hearted towards Islam. Now, Alhamdulillah, why don't you think that sometimes when uh, you become a Muslim, they say that, I know, say, cool, Amanje. He left his practice at home, now he has become an Indian. Yes, that's what people would think. That's why I say people misinterpret or we have a misperception of Islam. They don't understand it wholeheartedly. But in Islam, there are things that you, you'd find in the African religion, uh, cultures that are there in Islam, they, as, the same as they tell you, you to respect your parents. Your mother is the number one person you must respect. That's what Islam practices. Islam also practices circumcision, to go to the mountain and yeah. get circumcised. That's also there in Islam. So not all of the things that they think the Islam is against their cultures is like that. But there are things that Islam promotes that are, uh, that are good though. But the other things that are not good, that are bad, Islam forbids such. No, no. The halal and haram issue, how do you go about it in the township? Uh, Alhamdulillah for us in this community, uh, Molana, most people and the non-Muslims, they'd rather eat halal than haram. Mashallah. So Mashallah. Allah has blessed this community. They'd rather have a restaurants that are halal than to go to non-halal restaurants. Because they know that Muslims only love what's best for themselves. So they know they're going to get quality stuff when it's halal. Mashallah. At the end now, uh, what would you want from the Muslim Ummah? Uh, my, my plea and message to the Ummah of the Muslim worldwide is that as Muslims, we shouldn't have that perception of thinking that if I am fine as Abu Bakr and I am praying, then it doesn't matter what the next person or what happens to the next person. I feel like if as Muslims we have ikram, we have love for one another and we like what we for ourselves for the next person, then Islam would be better. Then as Muslims we'd live a better life as the Prophet wasalam, used to cry for us, the people that we don't know. So. Ikram and Muhabbat is my message to the to the Muslim Ummah. Jazakallah Abu Bakr, Allah bless you inshallah. And we have another sister inshallah from the area. Sister, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Now, what is your portfolio here? Uh, my portfolio here, my name is Lady P. They call me Lady P. I'm Petunia Mafa. And my, I'm new in, in Islam. And then my name for Islam is Pakiza. And then uh, I'm, I'm a leader at the Garden, the Garden Social Services, which is Kumoyale Rato, and it's under the umbrella of the gardens, like uh, the masjid. No. Yes. No, no, no. Um, what do you want the Muslim community to do for you? Uh, I want the Muslim community to like help our needy people because uh, our community. After after COVID, our community struggled a lot, and there's very people, poor people out there. They are very needy. The parents lost their jobs, and the children they don't even have food. They only have one meal for the day. But yes. then for the Muslim to please assist everyone, not only Muslim but everyone, non-Muslim or non-Muslim, just let's give each other a helping hand. Now, lastly, how many times a week do you feed? We, we feed uh, three times in a week, which is a Monday, Wednesday, and a Friday. Saturday, we give them breakfast. Ma'am. Yes. Ma'am. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. Thank you, man. And uh, next Alhamdulillah. time, we'll give you more time, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Amen. Jazakallah. As we say, we are coming live from Pretoria, Alhamdulillah, a place called Lotus Garden. Alhamdulillah, time for Johannesburg to make iftar has now come through. That's why we will say, Allahumma laqasumtu wa bika amantu wa alayka tawakaltu. After two, for the couple mini until we meet again. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.